Okay, we've got some questions we in do. the remaining moments of the program. What this is David who wants to know, is it a sin to have and use psychic abilities such as telekinesis? Uh, look, if you've got it, I don't think it's a sin. The question is, where did it come from? Uh, is it some natural ability or is it demonic? And I don't know you, so I can't tell you. I do think that we do have some abilities. I think that our brains transmit AM and FM, and there's some things that in the future, you know, telekinesis and so forth, that I think is real. I, I think that these are abilities that people have legitimately. But, you know, there's nothing in the Bible that tells you to stir up your psyche. The word psyche comes from suke, which means soul. That's the Greek word for soul, psuche. And you're not told to stir up your soulish power. You're supposed to have your spiritual power. So is it a sin? Well, I don't know enough to say yes or no in you, but I want to say some of this stuff can be demonic. All right. Hey, this is Joyce who says, My son-in-law is getting involved with a group of Christians who believe the world is flat. They even claim it's written in the Bible many times. They even say NASA has been lying to us about going into space. <laughs> is this just another conspiracy theory, or could they be on to something? Oh, I'm sure they're on to something. Everybody knows the world is flat. I mean, after all, wow. they, they excommunicated people in the Middle Ages who believed that it was round. <laughs> Come off it. I mean, this is the most ridiculous thing. I mean, why would any intelligent person in 2017 think that the world is flat? I, I think mean, there's a group of them is a little scary. Well, yeah, I mean, good <laughs> grief. That, that's the blessing of modern education. I, I mean, that's nuts. That's all I can say. What's next? <laughs> this is Nick who says, my roommate, whom I've been good friends with for years, recently got into Wicca. He says it doesn't change his faith in God and that he just finds it fun to learn about Wicca spells. Should I be concerned and should I still continue being roommates or move out? Please help. Um, I think you ought to move out. You shouldn't have anything to do with evil. Wicca, they say, well, that's, that's good witchcraft. That's white witchcraft, not black witchcraft. We, we're the good guys. No. Demons are demons. Devil is devil. He can appear as an angel of light. He can do a, a, a black thing. No way. No way. They, they say, well, we're, we're the white witches. Stay away from that. Get out. Move. Whatever. Okay, this is Heather who says, my husband and I want to be baptized soon and don't belong to a church. We study the Bible and watch the 700 Club daily. We have personal relationships with God. We belong to the 700 Club and really don't want to belong to a church just to be baptized. Could we baptize each other in the name of the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit? We respect your opinion and hope to hear your thoughts. Well, you could. And seriously, you could. Mm -hmm. um, but it'd probably be nice. I'm sure you can find a church someplace, a Baptist church, where they, where they, they won't make you join the church in order to be baptized. But uh, you can find a minister, go off to some pond or creek and, or a bathtub or whatever and be sure. baptized. I mean, by all means, do it. But that's, there's nothing in the Bible that says you have to be an ordained minister in order to baptize somebody. So could you baptize each other? Yeah.